Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFD server tutorial. In today's video, we'll show you how to use Amazon S3 as a file storage system of your MFD server. For those who want to try storing their file transfer server and user files on Amazon S3, this video is for you. Before you begin, let me show you first what it is we're setting up here. If you still need more information or want to know the motivations behind this particular setup, read the blog post, Amazon S3 vs Local Storage, where should you store files uploaded to your file transfer server? We've provided a link to that blog post in the description. Let me bring up our web-based file transfer client first. Alright, see that folder we've highlighted? Well, the other folders simply map to local directories on storage devices directly attached to the server. That third folder actually maps to a folder in an Amazon S3 bucket. So if we upload files to this folder, those files will be sent to the S3 folder instead of being stored in a local storage device directly attached to the server. Let's now go through the steps to achieve this. First, you'll need to have an Amazon S3 bucket and a folder inside it. Take note of the names of the bucket and the folder as you'll need those later. Next, launch your Jscape MFT Server Manager and navigate to the Reverse Proxies page. Click the Add button. After that, select the Amazon S3 protocol and then click OK. You then need to give this reverse proxy a name, let's say S3 Storage. Select Enter Credentials and then enter your Amazon S3 username or access key and its corresponding password or secret key. You also need to specify the path of your remote directory. This is just the name of the bucket, which in our case is bucket for jscape02 followed by a forward slash and then the name of the folder, which in this case is folder1. You may click the test server button to test the connection to Amazon S3. If everything goes well, click the OK button. You should now see your newly created Amazon S3 reverse proxy. Now that we have our reverse proxy, the next step would be to map this to a virtual path. So in Jscape MFD server, you can map that to a group's virtual path a user template's virtual path, or a specific user's virtual path. Let's just do the third one. Go to the user's module and click the edit button. Let's now create a new virtual path for this user by clicking the add button. Let's now assign a name to this virtual path, say files in S3. Select Reverse Proxy and select the Reverse Proxy we created earlier. Click OK to proceed. You should now see your newly created virtual path which points to an Amazon S3 folder. You can now click OK to finalize the process. That's it! Now you know how to use Amazon S3 as a file storage system for Jscape MFD 